she's done. Dude, that's sick. What? You're thinking the same thing. You know you are. Dude. You know you are. Fuck you. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Me too. I hate this school. Me too. 
I really, really hate it. The girls are so harsh. Oh my god, so harsh. They're so mean. So mean. And the only thing anyone ever cares about is...
tweet. The sexually graphic video you just wish would go away. It's amazing, really. Everything leaves a trail, a residue. And here's the really nifty part. All I have to do is press one button and everything goes out into the world. And then it started going viral. Soon, everybody and everybody saw the texts, the photos, the YouTube video, over a million hits in the first 24 hours. Then, the news media started to smell blood. CNN, MSNBC, Fox News, it was all anybody could talk about. It was all over the evening news and all over the blogosphere, and soon this thing that happened in some little town in the middle of nowhere was all over the place. And it was all anyone could talk about. All anybody could talk about was kids these days. Kids these days. I think we need to talk about kids these days. We really need to talk about kids these days. What you need to understand about kids these days. I don't want to think about kids these days. The problem with kids these days. What we forget about kids these days. Blah, 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 kids these days. Just shut up about kids these days. The news media talked to anyone and everyone they could find. They talked to the girl who made the 911 call. Yeah, I called 911. I mean, obviously it was a crime. The girl was unconscious and getting sexually assaulted. I would call that a crime. But the thing I don't get is why nobody did anything. Nobody was like, this is wrong, stop. I don't get that. I mean, don't you learn that kind of thing from your parents and your teachers and your coaches? Don't they teach that to you? Like, what it is to be a good kid, a good person, what it means to do the right thing. Did these kids just not learn that? Where were all the grown-ups? What the hell were they thinking? Good question. They talked to the parents, the teachers, the coach. They were all wondering, how could something like this have happened? I know these boys. I coach them every day. I don't know what happened that night. And truthfully, I don't think anybody does. All I'll say is, you know, they get drunk. They got all these hormones rushing, and they do stupid things. Maybe things got a little bit out of hand. Boys will be boys, you know what I'm saying? My daughter Amber didn't even know that girl. That kind of girl is not the kind of person my daughter would even be friends with. Not in a million years. Amber has a 4.2 average. She is captain of the soccer team. She is a very direct and young lady. She doesn't associate with girls like that. So while what happened to that girl, unfortunate as it is, it has nothing to do with my Amber. This whole thing is bullshit. It's bullshit. My son tied into a damn thing. And now this girl, it's like she's trying to ruin his life. This is his goddamn life we're talking about. Some girls ask for it, they just do. They put it all out there and then they act surprised when some guy takes them up on it. And maybe you hate me for saying that, but it's the truth. I tell my daughter, don't you ever be that girl. Don't you ever be that stupid. You know damn well what the world is like. Don't act like you don't. What are we even talking about? Kids do stupid things all the time. They're kids, they're stupid. And now this girl, she's just blowing things way out of proportion. She's making a big deal over nothing. She's ruining my son's life. Why would you set out to destroy a young man's life like that? All of his hopes, all of his dreams? Why would you do that? My son has a shot playing college ball. He's been working at that for a long, long time now. It's everything. This is his life. This is my son's life. And now, I don't know what's going to happen. That girl is a goddamn troublemaker is what she is. You want to know why this kind of thing happened? I'll tell you why. It happened because she couldn't keep her damn legs together. That's right. She couldn't keep her damn legs together.
her talk? It's not right. It's just not right. Saying how she's ruining these boys' lives. Well, what about her life? She's a life too, you know? People always say, act like a lady, and you're going to get treated like a lady. The only thing is, that's not true. You want to know a secret? What happened to that girl can happen to any girl, no matter how she acts. If you're a girl, you better watch yourself. Boys are going to want one thing, and girls are going to hate you for it. That's how it was in Ice Ridge, and that's how it is now, same as it ever was. We like to think things have changed, but they haven't. They really haven't. Not at all. All of a sudden, everybody had something to say about the situation. And while the kids involved, no, and while the grown-ups tried to figure out how something like this could happen, the kids, those kids involved, they tried to erase their tracks. They tried to delete and deactivate everything they could, but they couldn't, because there was someone out there in a hoodie. Someone smarter than they were. Someone who knew about computers. Someone who kept digging up the texts, the tweets, the photographs, the video. Someone who made it impossible for them to pretend that this had never happened. Someone who refused to let it go away. And while the, whoever that someone was, this was personal. They'd been watching. They'd been watching for a long time. They'd had some connection, an axe to grind. I would have given anything to know who she was and why. Why do you think it was a she? I don't know. It's just a hunch, a gut feeling. What would have you have asked her? I would have asked her, who are you? I would have asked her, what are you doing this for? And she would have said, because I know what it feels like when something bad happens to you. Because I know what it feels like when nobody does anything about it. Because once, not that long ago, I was a girl who went to a party, and I had too much to drink, and things happened to me, bad things. And I got into a car with a, with a guy. For the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. 
the rest of my life. Just like how what happened to her is going to be with her for the rest of my life. For the rest of my life, this will be part of the story I tell. This will be part of the story I tell. This will be part of the story I tell. This will be part of the story I tell. This will be a part of the story I tell. This will be part of the story I tell. This will be part of the story I tell. This will be part of the story I tell. This will be part of the story I tell. This will be part of the story I tell. But it won't be the whole story. Because that girl they said I was? I am more than that girl. That guy they're talking about? That girl they're talking about? That's not all of who I am. That's not all of who I am. That's not who I am. That's not me. That's not me. That's not me. It's not the whole picture. It's not the whole story. It's just a part. It's just one part. Because there's all these other parts of me that you don't know. Because there's this part of myself that I don't show to other people. There's this part of me that I keep hidden. There's still this part of me that's that little boy you see in the photographs. That kid is still a part of me. It's the part of me that nobody ever sees. It's the part of me that's the future me. It's like a future version of me. Nothing like the guy you met that night. She's nothing like the girl you met that night. He is nothing like the guy you met that night. Because the future me is a different person. He is a completely different person. He is a braver person. A more honest person. That's what I believe. It's 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 what I have to.